California's drought isn't just posing wildfire danger. It is also threatening a species of salmon. CBS reporter Jonathan Vigliotti shows us how biologists are working to save the fish population. Commercial and recreational salmon fishing generates more than $900 million annually for California. But with much of this state in a punishing drought, the fishing industry is feeling the stress. We are looking at an over 50% reduction of our traditional commercial fishing season. Because the state experienced one of the driest years on record, waterways that would normally carry young salmon out to sea are now hotbeds of dirt and dust. I'm standing currently 40 feet underwater or should be standing 40 feet under water. Governor Gavin Newsom declared a drought emergency from a cracked lake bed in April. The hots are getting hotter, the dries are getting drier. Iconic Chinook salmon need cold running water to survive. They hatch in rivers, then migrate to the sea to mature. After a couple years, they swim back to where life began to reproduce or spawn. But this year, studies show fish born in the wild will likely die. The temperatures that we're seeing now are anticipated to have pretty low survival for fish that are released in the river. That's why hatcheries like this one near Sacramento are jumping with activity. To save the species, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife has launched a massive operation. This is pretty incredible. What you're looking at is nearly 700,000 juvenile salmon being sucked up this tube and put into one of seven tankers. With rivers so low, this is what migration looks like, and it's just one stop along this very unusual journey. The fish are hitching a ride inside 146 trucks, traveling more than 100 miles to the Pacific. All right, here we go. John McManus heads up an association of fishermen who advocate for salmon and ecosystem protections. What does a Herculean effort like this mean for the salmon population? Well, actually, in the short term, this gives us hope, and we're happy that they're moving these fish. We followed our school of fish as they were towed to a spot near Mare Island. It's estimated about 80% of the young salmon taken for a ride will grow to maturity. Jonathan Vigliotti, San Francisco.